Okay, these are a couple of squirrel traps I made. Do it yourself. And I will show you how it's done. Now, what happened is I had a problem with squirrels and the in my around my yard there's a number of oak trees and they're inhabited by squirrels. It's the most popular tree for squirrels I think because of the acorns. But they got so bad and one day I discovered one building a nest in my under the hood of my truck, pickup truck, and uh, after I got rid of it, I got, rid, got to remove the squirrel, I found that he had chewed into a couple of rubber hoses under there and left me without uh, windshield washers. Uh, Shoot through one of them hoses. And also a vacuum hose going to the AC. So I decided right then to get rid of uh, as many squirrels as I could. So I found online how to build these. Uh, what they call teeter-totter squirrel traps and so I built two one for the front one for the back and that wing I started catching them squirrels right away and uh, I found out the best thing to use is bird seed they're crazy about bird seed. If you get that kind, it's got the, the little uh, sunflower seeds in it, little black seeds. They're, they really love them things. So the best way, so what I do when I build a trap, for instance, this in here, you'll note has got a door on it and uh, so you have to you could <coughs> build your own door catch I built mine out of a coat, a coat hanger and it goes right down like that but uh, it's not setting proper right now. But what it does, this door catches on this <coughs> wire ain't, uh, here. Let's see. Be like that. You could adjust that wire however, however you want to uh, make it. And you just. And what happens is. So you hear on this and how it's built. This is the back of it here. So on the. About the middle part. You want to put a couple of screws, and these screws go into these little slots here, and then so that makes the uh, trap about half an inch or more high. Therefore, when you put the, so 
therefore, uh, it teeter totters on those screws. So when you the squirrel goes in, and you know, when he goes, you have to throw the uh, bird seed far back there as you can. So he go, he'll go over the center part. When he goes over the center part, he, he makes the back part go down like that. And uh, then it falls back down. And he's caught. And he can't get out. Because when he goes to the other end, it raises up. When he comes back down, the door is still shut. So it's a great trap. I know because right away I started catching uh, squirrels. Sometimes two a day, sometimes three a day, or four even, a couple times. And uh, so what I did was just uh, uh, take the whole trap, put it on the back of the truck, take it uh, to some woods uh, two or three miles away and turn them loose. And over about less than three months, I got rid of uh, about 130 of the things. So right now, I'm I'm not even putting them out because they're not near as plentiful as they used to be. Wild squirrels are great, beautiful, uh, cute, <laughs> and all of that. Uh, that's the main problem I've had with them, is they, they will get in your uh, car and eat up uh, rubber and plastic parts in there. Cost, sometimes costing hundreds of dollars, according to some of my neighbors around here. But I happen to, it, it happened to, what they eat up on mine, I was able to fix myself. But, uh, so, main thing, when you build one, just get you a, like on, on mine, you can use whatever you want to, of course, but uh, here's this thing here. It keeps my, the door closed while you're transporting him around. Or you just, I just leave this here and just take the whole, the whole trap with me. when I'm uh, getting rid of one. So, <clears throat> all you have to do is build, get you, you might have uh, some more uh, boards laying around your house you want to get rid of, and just uh, build you one of these. And this is like a one, one by six, and So you just uh, cut them all the same length, and uh, and nail them together. So you've got, a, and you can uh, build them any length you want. Mine's about two feet long, but you don't need them that long. If the, the fact, even a foot long would be good enough, but. Uh, whatever your preference. And on the rear, you use the same type of board to make a door with. And just uh, make it well, put you a little hinge on top. And just open it right up. Now what you want to it's best if you've got some kind of hardwood to use because 
once these things are trapped, they will really, within an hour or two of being trapped, they'll start trying to gnaw out. And you can see right here how they gnawed, <laughs> gnawed up on this uh, place right here. And you can see they almost gnawed out it this. Look at that hole there. And uh, so what I did was put a couple of screws down here to keep them keep biting on it. So uh, if you could use some kind of hardwood uh, you'd be way, way better off. But of course uh, you got one by six. Uh, it's real light. It's, it don't cause that much. You can buy. You can. It don't cause nothing. Hard right, building them. Put an old strap on top to carry it around with. And uh, but what happens is you put them screws. Or whatever you want to use back there is, is a is a uh, to make it teeter totter, and uh, so it's it's it'll, it'll put about halfway. It'll be heavier on this end on account of this door on it. On the rear end, you just got a screen there, and you might. So put a good screen on it, it's, uh, and uh, if they start eating out, uh, try to eat out, they'll hit that screen, and uh, it, that'll stop them for the most part. And uh, let me see. That's about all I think. Uh, you need to know about this, you can figure out the rest for yourself, whatever you need to do. But it's a, they are great little traps. And uh, myself, I really like to use that bird seed, but you can make, use anything you want. Now here on the on the door, you'll have to uh, put you a little stop here, right along in front of the door, like this over here, and, uh, and otherwise he would he would just push it out. But that uh, any kind of little board here be a good like that one there so that's about all I can tell you I think on this and these wires here you could just you might have to wiggle on it a couple of times to adjust it right to where it will fall off because you want to get it real, real, you want to get it real easy uh, for the door to fall down. Because that squirrel, as soon as it gets, as soon as it gets halfway and his foot starts going down, it scares him. <laughs> they would back off. So you want to get it, as soon as, it, as, soon as he Put some more pressure on the other side, make that door all to fall down. So, uh, good luck on your squirrel trapping and building a squirrel trap. That's the way it is.
Look at all this sweat coming off of me here. Central Florida. But, uh, happy squirrel hunting.